Right there we have my very excited Lycan Shepherd puppies. They're excited because uh, they know I've got some food here. I'm uh, going to introduce them to some uh, eggs and some apple for the first time. Well, they have had eggs before, but not uh, given whole like this. I've usually cracked it on their food. I like to introduce them to new, f new, uh, new foods at a young age uh, because it gets them used to them when they're older. Some dogs can become picky when they're older. This is also their first time experiencing snow. As you can see, we've got some snow coming down. Let's see what they do. Any bad you're breaking open those eggs. Oh no, you lost the goodness on the grate. Yeah, you can't eat those on the grate. Maybe I'd eat the shell. Now the whole egg with the shell is a complete nutritional package for the dogs. You don't want to feed them the egg without the shell, you want them to eat the shell too. And you can see they will readily eat the shell. And this is their first time being exposed to snow. Being that uh, this is Minnesota, they're going to get a lot more exposure over the uh, coming months. Again, eggshell isn't very healthy for dogs. As I say in all my videos with them. It is not a suitable substitute for bone in a dog's diet. This Ruka there. How you doing, sweetheart? The badge. Hey, sweetie. They're like, where's the, where's the meat? I'll give you your meat in a minute. I want you to play with the apples for a little bit. Badge with a big chunk of snow on her ear, looking pretty cute. Ooh, we're starting to get some uh, big flakes now. Again, it's the puppy's uh, first exposure to snow. Getting pretty cute. Kratos running off with his uh, piece of apple over there. Badge is looking at my phone wondering again, where's the meat? I'll get it in a minute, sweetie. Yeah, it's good to introduce dogs to various fruits and vegetables while they're still young because they can become picky as they get older. Unless it's a bulldog. Bulldogs eat almost anything from my experience. <laughs> it's 
SF Sweetie Pie. Gee, a cutie. Badge's first snow. All right, just a second, I'm going to grab my frozen fish to play with one moment. Well, that right there is a golden pompano fish I'm going to give him. It's frozen, so it's basically just a fish sickle to him. This isn't their meal, I'm just uh, giving them something to play with while I'm filming. They'll get their uh, meal in a little bit. Sweetie, she's so cute. Miss <laughs> 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 Ruka with the fish. Talker. Fun to watch him play. <laughs> They're getting pretty cute. They scrap all over the yard now. I love watching them play. Luca says, hey, are you messing with my fish? second I got a little pumpkin inside I'm gonna bring out for him. Well I got a little pumpkin here for him. It's a good way to bust them open. There's a second one. Get the sticker off it. Puppies love pumpkins. Dogs love pumpkin. Kratos running away with his pumpkin half. <laughs> There's four pumpkin halves around the yard, but everybody wants that one. 
Go figure. Yeah, they just noticed the uh, water dripping out the gutter there. Just to show you how well that recall works. Still working. You got yourself all wet now, Ruka. <laughs> such a cutie. She's like that fish. It's kind of hard. I have some stuff for them. I'm going to be feeding them in a little bit. Again, this is just to show their first time out in the snow and to introduce them to a couple of new things. Oh, here's such a nice picture of Ruka. Badger's like, hey, I'm ready to go inside. What's up, buddy? What's up, Badge? I guess Honey Badger does care. One second, I'll let mom out. Dad was waiting by the door, so I let him out. The pups are like, hey, Dad, how you doing? Got any food to regurgitate for us? <laughs> you see puppies uh, licking at the adult's mouth like that. That's a uh, throwback to wolves. Uh, puppies will uh, greet the adult wolves in the pack and lick at their mouth and it uh, stimulates the uh, adults to regurgitate some food for them if they have some. Let's see what Kurgan does with the frozen fish. He'll wait till the puppies aren't around it and then he'll snatch it up. He won't take it if, they're, if they have it. See? So he'll try to lead them away and then run over and snatch it. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> is he going to take it to a stump? Or is he going to take it over to the grate? Oh, he's very good with puppies, so. Probably about the best father you could ask for.
giving the puppy a gentle growl, telling her, hey, that's mine. It's all canine communication. <laughs> That's pretty cute. What's up, buddy? Coming over to get some love? Okay. He's hoping to lead the puppies over to me and then he's going to try to snatch that fish up again. <laughs> Badge is like, what about me? I want to be pet. They're starting to get some of the pieces off the front of that fish there. Let Kurgan grab his fish. Good boys. Girls. <laughs> He's like, Dad, I can't even get at it. Kurgan's smart. He knows I'm calling the puppies over for him so he can run over and grab that. <laughs> you see, he's a good boy. He's, he's letting them have the food. Even though he wants it. Alright, let's let Ulu up. There, we let Mom out. And uh, Kurgan had the fish over on the stump there for a little bit, it looks like, while I was inside. <laughs> now the puppies will try to nurse off of mom, but uh, mom doesn't have any milk anymore. See, she looks pretty good. Blowing her coat a little bit from having the pups. You can see up along the side there. But uh, all females do that uh, when they're nursing puppies. When they have a big double goat coat like her. Again, you can see uh, she didn't get all skinny and sucked down. Uh, the raw diet really helped her keep her weight on. She looks great, actually. Again, she has no milk. The puppies will try to nurse on her, but you can see she's all dried up. She, uh, her boobs are empty. As soon as they pull up just a little bit more, she'll be uh, coming out on her hikes with us again. I don't want her running through all that stinging nettle and uh, through the woods. Uh, with those hanging down getting all scratched up especially in the fall with all the uh, burrs and stuff like that and so well, that's Kurgan telling the puppies now well, you see he didn't hurt that puppy look at that he's got her baby under his paw he's doing a, a muzzle grab there which is uh, how parents will often uh, discipline a subordinate now this is all valuable teaching behavior. This is why I'm letting him eat this in front of them. I, he's teaching them the uh, proper etiquette of the pack. And I can trust him to do this because he's a very well uh, uh, 
has a very great discipline when it comes to puppies, and uh, when it comes to uh, reprimanding them, he doesn't. <coughs> He's exhibiting here his superior intelligence by using this log as a tool to help keep his food up away from the uh, young ones. <coughs> Again, this is all healthy canine communication. This is how they talk. This is integration. How would you like that? One of your kids trying to eat the food right out of your mouth. Again, this is one of the reasons why Kurgan is one of the foundation males in the Lycan Shepherd project. His extreme intelligence and uh, great temperament we want to see in the uh, Lycan Shepherd. Again, it's, uh, he uses this log as a tool. And I have dozens of videos showing him doing that. Hey buddy, just a creep man. Smart. She's just up there slurping up all the uh, little pieces that he's uh, missing there. Honey Badger getting in on some of that action. Even Ulu. <laughs> Tell me that ain't a cute picture. No. Okay. 
got him uh, biting my shoelaces. Playing cleanup. Well, there you go. It's the puppy's first exposure to snow. You got to watch them uh, eat some eggs, get exposed to some apple, and uh, share a fish with their dad who's uh, going to the bathroom right now. Again, for those who want to know what a uh, raw food uh, stool should look like from a dog, there you go. They're small and uh, nice and solid one of the benefits of the raw diet. They produce a lot less volume of stool because the dog, is, uh, the food is much more digestible and not full of useless fillers. Well, I'm gonna take the puppies in and dry them off and uh, feed them their uh, first meal for the day. Again, this was just, uh, just exposing them to a couple of new foods. Bye from uh, Miss Ulu. Mr. Kurgan and the three amigos. <laughs> Bye.